Welcome to Pendulum Painting for FabFest 2020, brought to you by Cook Inlet Tribal Council. You're going to be mixing science and art to make some of these beautiful paintings. If you came to FabFest, you'll have a bag like this that has all the supplies that you're going to need for this. If not, you're going to have to use this video to figure out what supplies you need to buy. Inside of each kit, you should find some canvas, some paints of various colors, you should find some glue, there should be a length of yarn, you'll find a plastic drop cloth for keeping things clean, and you'll find some wire wrapped around a stick. There are a few other supplies that will help, including scissors, a hole punch, a broom or some other stick, and some tape, and probably a measuring cup. As this can be a very messy process, we highly recommend spreading out the drop cloth on an area that you want to keep clean and taking two chairs or something and putting the stick or broom across it. If you tape it down, it's going to help it stay in place, but it's not a requirement. You could put something heavy on it as well. Take one of your bottles of glue and dump it into a cup. It doesn't have to be a measuring cup, but that is helpful. Try to get as much of the glue out as possible, but it doesn't have to be perfect. We want our glue to water ratio to be one to one. Since our glue is four ounces, we're gonna pour in four ounces of water, and then we're gonna shake it up to help mix up that glue and get it out of our container. Pour the water from your glue container into your cup with the glue in it. Go ahead and give that a vigorous stirring until you don't notice any clumps of glue. We're going to end up adding the paint to this. We're looking for the same amount of paint as glue and as water, so we should have a one to one to one ratio. For every ounce of paint, you're going to want two ounces of your glue water mixture. Mix the glue, paint, and water together until it has a nice consistency with no chunks. While being as safe as possible, use some scissors to cut the end off of the glue bottle. You're then going to take it and rinse it out until you don't see any more glue in it. Cut some holes into two parts of the top of the glue bottle. You can do this with anything that's nice and sharp. Take the yarn and thread it through one of the holes and tie a knot to hold it onto that side. You're then going to take the other end of the string and do the same for the other hole of the bottle. This is what you're going to be hanging it from the stick with later on. If you're going to be hanging your pendulum from something other than a stick onto chairs and you know that you're looking at a taller height, let's say you're hanging it from the ceiling, you might need a longer piece of string here, but you can replace that with any sort of string. This next part is optional, but it does greatly improve how your pendulum's going to swing. We're going to use the wire to wrap around the end of the glue bottle, and all this wire is doing is adding extra weight, which helps the pendulum swing. Be very careful as the end is sharp you'll need to wash your hands after for the grease that's on this wire. Make sure that your glue bottle is closed and go ahead and pour your paint into it and we're just going to test this out. Once it's in there you're going to be able to take it and do a little test pour and you can just pour it right back into your cup with all the paint. You shouldn't have the paint glooping as it's coming out. If that's the case you're going to need to add some more water. We're then going to take it and tie just a little knot in it so that later on when we're looking at some options we can add some extra pendulum options. We can then wrap the string around our stick, or in this case our broom, and you just keep wrapping and it will eventually be able to hold itself in place. You can also add a little knot in the end if you prefer. With the lid still closed, go ahead and do a few test swings just so you can get a feel for the pendulum you have. Make sure that you're, you're high enough above the paper and then you can open it up and let it go. And then it's just watching it and deciding when you want to pull it. You can do multiples on the same page. You can change colors. You can use multiple canvases at once. It really is all up to you. When your painting is to the point that you like it, you can either grab the glue can real quick and get it out of there, or you can put a piece of paper underneath it so that it makes it where you don't drip on your canvas as you're trying to pull it away. If you did manage to get paint on things you didn't want to, don't worry, everything will come off with water. Wet wipes should also work. If you want to change colors and do so cleanly, you can use water to rinse everything out. Otherwise, you can just pour the next color in and your painting will have it kind of flow from one color to the next. There are plenty of ways you can modify this project and we're just going to show a few. If you do this dual pendulum, 
where you can see that the string is connected at two different parts on the stick, you end up with a very different pattern. You can also try spinning your string ahead of time so that when you release, it creates a slight little wobble in it. And if your hole is off centered, you can also end up with a, a wobbly paint job. Next up, we're gonna show you an acrylic paint pour, sometimes known as a flip cup. And we're just prepping some of the paint, essentially the same ratio of glue, water, and paint that we used on the next one. It's not as important for the glue and water, but it can help with the flow here. We're just mixing together different colors that we had and just putting them all together into one cup. How you do this is completely up to you. There aren't really any wrong answers here as long as you're keeping things clean and you're not trying to drink it. Once you have all your colors together, it's really up to you how you want to apply the paint to your canvas. In this case, we just sort of drizzled the paint along. We're using a piece of wood here instead of a, a cloth canvas, but we just drizzled the paint along. Once we have the paint kind of how we want it, um, it's going to be changing a lot, so you really can't tell what it's going to end up as. We just kind of tip the, the canvas until you end up completely coating the canvas with paint. You're going to end up with paint running off of this, so make sure you continue to do this above your drop cloth. If you want to do it over another canvas, that'll work too, because you can conserve your paint and use that on the next canvas. This can sort of mimic the colors of the northern lights and you can then do your pendulum art over this canvas that you prepare using this drip method. You can use whatever method you want to get the paint over to the edge. Do your pendulum pours over this and let us see what you come up with. Go ahead and tag us, email us, however you need to get it to us. We would love to see the work that you come up with. Good luck and have fun painting.